Howdy y'all and welcome to another part of FF7. In this part we are going to visit Cosmo Canyon, the place where this guy was born, apparently. <laughs> Nanaki. You see, what I was originally going to do when I got him was name him Nanaki, so he's like, huh, I am Nanaki, also known as Nanaki. Uh, th that's, uh, I think that was when, yeah, uh, back up Rufus. What? <laughs> Doesn't look that full. Some. Some. I'm disappointed, Mr. Red 13. Right, 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 right. Now we get to, there's some decent stuff that we can get here. Uh, some of which, well, one of which that I can think of at the top of my head right now, we can't get until like the second, third disc. Which is a threat, which is a shame because it's quite a good material. Well, sort of. Uh, I'm not sure if it can even be used with all. Actually, thinking about it, well, it's over in a building to the right over there. No, I did not press that. He did that on his own. The building that's on the very right there, it's in there, and that's a store. If I think about it. <sighs> People of this canyon hate to compete, so almost everything here is replicas. But that's alright, some of them you really can use. Well, that's helpful! I could get that in. Oh, it's this. Six, huh? hmm. How much prison stuff? For? I'm going to get the heavy Vulcan for him. And I think that'll do for now. I may get the Butterfly Edge later, but I want to keep with the. Uh... <coughs> Double MP. I sneeze a lot in these videos, don't I? Let's go uh, say hi to grandfather. Yes, yeah, so I had to think about that for a second there, because it still confuses me to this day how he can be a grandfather. Oh well. There's the cook shop. Now I like this this store because it's. I think one of the only places you can get the HP and MP plus materials. And I like to make sure that I have one or two of them. But they cost a hell of a lot, that's the problem. 8,000 each, I think it was. Yep, 8,000 each. You also get Mystify and... Let's see what I can sell to him. I don't like to sell items that I can only have one at a time of, so... Oh, huh, there's nothing I can really sell. That's a shame. I guess I could sell two of these. That'll get me enough for HP plus, I suppose. I should sort out my inventory. Can I sell the silk dress and bald wig? You'd think you'd have gotten rid of them, but I guess not. And arrange them. All right, cool. Now. Looking at the blonde, uh, Platinum Bangle for a second there, it occurred to me that you can actually get a four-slotted double AP weapon, but you can't get that until you can hit the north, uh, the north and area of the map, which is uh, the, no which is where the Temple of the, uh, not Temple of the Ancients, City of the Ancients, Northern Crater, stuff like that. Forty-eight. Equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old. Huh, so he can live pretty much, I guess, about three years or three, four years to the amount to every human year. Hmm. <laughs> Looking up too much gives you, makes you lose perspective. Oh no, I know it. Get off the table, that's rude. Oh dear. I can understand why Cloud's looking around there. If that were me, I'd be looking around as well. While this goes on, planets are born and die. 
gives you something to think about, doesn't it? Apparatus, you say? Apparatus? Interesting. Bungenhagen here is a pretty important character, so uh, we'll probably see him quite a lot. Now, he says bring one of your characters, but honestly you don't actually find, have to find the character you want, just find one of your characters, talk to him, and you'll be good. Sue, since Yuffie's here, I'll talk to her. And I think Ares would benefit the most from this. Oh, wait, I can take two. Uh, I'll bring Barrett because he likes it as well. In fact, I'm just going to bring my usual party. <laughs> and often at this time, I actually have... Uh, I don't really use Barrett after I game Red 13. It's like, at the start of the game, I'll use uh, Red 13... Into, well, I'll use Barrett until I get Red 13, and then when I get Red 13, I'll I'll uh, change to to um. Sometimes I'll change to Yuffie after I get her, or I'll wait, change to Vincent when I get him, or I can wait all the way until I hit the uh. uh what's it called? Uh. The Rocket Town, and get Sid. So yeah, and use him. But this time I thought I'd change it up a little. A little. I, I always use Ares. Now this is another one of my favourite uh, pieces of music in this game. Very peaceful, very calming. I, mean, I remember um, quite a few years back one of my discs uh, for this, because I've had a lot of copies of this game. Uh, this would be where it would often crash. Don't fly into the black hole, you'll never be able to get out! Oh god, no! I think it'd be awesome to have one of these in my room. Although my room is a bit small, so it'd have to be a lot smaller than this. Not only those of humans, but everything on the planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. So all the monsters I've been killing have been returned to the planet. Oh dear, I feel bad now. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a spell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy. There's souls that roam in the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. Uh, that's words. Words. Not word. A new life. Children are blessed with spirit energy and brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are obsessions, but this is the way of the world. You have to grit us, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Ugh, watch this. Come at me, bro. Oh god, I'm dying. Oh dear. So essentially in the world of Final Fantasy VII, it's reincarnation. Hmm, interesting. Spirit energy makes little things possible. Trees, birds, and humans. Seven things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. Hmm, interesting. What happens if that spirit energy were to disappear? I always imagined that when he did this, it actually affected the planet itself. Like, that was a mini representation of the planet they're actually stood on at the moment. So when he's doing this, he's actually sucking the proper life energy out. And they just hear an earthquake outside and the planet just goes... Pfft! And everyone dies. <laughs> Bungenhagen, uh, Bungenhagen, you're the true villain. Kill him, quickly, before he does it. These are the basics of the study of life. Spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. 
Hmm. Mako energy. Or Mako. Every day, Mako en reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed into the reactors and pro processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. <gasps> hmm. Yeah, at the end of this game though, Mako energy stops being uh, stops being used, and thus material also stops being used, uh, which is why uh, you don't really see many people using it in the Advent Child movie. Hmm. That music needs to be heard more often in this game. I really do like it. Oh, let's talk to it first. And that's going to play into where we're going next. Man, who designed this place? I hate keep going up and down. Which is annoying because we're gonna have to run back up there again in a second anyway. Arr. So Yo, let's talk. Cosmo Canyon. This this is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday that when we take the plan from Shinra that we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate Biggs, which Jesse. They're all dead, Barrett. That's life. Well, I don't know. Go off their reincarnated forms, which are somewhere. <laughs> and you guys are its new members. We don't want to be members. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things in about the two seconds of which I le of which you left the party. I don't want to talk to Tifa. Let me talk to Red. I think that's also supposed to be uh, looking into the future a bit, you know, giving you a clue of what's going to happen eventually. tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Oh, really? Right, uh, let's bring Ares. A little extra healing never, never went amiss. That's my order, damn it. Wait, does... No, oh, I thought it wasn't. I thought that was red that had an extra limit break ready to go, but it's actually Ares. Oh yeah, that's the point. I better equip... Uh, might as well equip him now while I've got the chance. Carbon bunga. And he's got nothing else. So. Spirit. And... Yeah, I'll do. As for materia, let's see what can I give you. I might as well exchange Barrett stuff to him. Change that Chocobo Lord to the enemy skill. I don't even know why I had that on anymore. I don't need it. 
There's a reason I had that equipped. It, uh, I didn't show it in the earlier video, but I was trying to get the Harpy that I got the Aqualung off to appear on the Chugbo tracks, because apparently they can. But uh, after about 10 battles, I was like, forget it. Let's try something else. Uh, yeah, let's go. Open up the path and let's get going. Now, down here we can learn another enemy skill. Uh, not one that I use often, but might as well. Well, to be fairly honest, you're going to learn it pretty much anyway. Uh, huh. No, I ain't going with you. I'm an old man. A floaty old man. Who could probably just float over all the enemies, but uh, <clears throat> that's not the point. Now, you'll notice as we go further down, the music starts disappearing. Until it eventually disappears. Which should be as we're going down this rope. Long rope. Sheesh. Now, I think it's this one we have to use. No. I, can, I, I always forget which one this is. But these are the enemies you can gain the enemy skill off. So, let's just bait them. And they should cast it upon death, so upon using this, he'll, they'll probably cast it three times. Which is completely useless because they'll be dead by then. Oh, I guess not. Well, sometimes they will. At least they have on me. He can't escape those ones either, so. Good thing about this area is it's good for experience, so if you haven't. If you're a bit low leveled, then you might as well use this area to uh, level up a bit. Let's see if a quick Choco Mob will finish these guys quickly. I just summoned a Chocobo right out of the ether. I feel pretty cool about that. Oh, I didn't kill him! And only one of them got stopped off. Now I'm going. I am going to try and kill these things with Aerith because I would like her next limit break as well. Because some of her next limit breaks are actually really helpful. I should probably equip enemy skill to her then, which I will likely do after this battle. Oh, there's Death Summons. Oh yeah, these things can. I forgot these things can use it as well. Ah, oh, fire, ice, and bolt too. I'm loving it. Now, death sentence has a 60 second limit. As soon as that 60 seconds is up, you uh, the end. The person that's been hit by it will die. So uh, make sure you finish the battle or run before then. Alright, so I gained the two death sentences there. And 770 experience. And I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and switch that around. Not that Aerith really needs all that much uh, in the way of... Actually, let's switch sense with that. I don't really need manipulate anymore, so uh, let's see. Heal? Yeah, heal. Heal will do. Might as well level that up. Since Asuna can be a really helpful spell, as you probably know from the other games if you played them. So yeah, that'll that'll give Aerith some killing potential. There we go. Should have figured it'd be the one closest. 
Ho ho ho, everyone hears a ghost of the Gi tribe, killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the livestream. We still have far to go. Hew hoo hoo. There's a few items we can gain in this next section, but I'm going to leave it off here because I'm thinking this part may be getting a little too long. I'm not actually sure because I never time these, but uh, yeah, the rest of this area, uh, I'll show off a few items you can get and there'll be a boss battle next time. So until then, uh, Ivory signing out. Peace.